Hi, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up the iPad cart and Apple configurator. To set up the cart, we'll need a computer, a MacBook Pro in this case, a wireless or Ethernet internet connection, an iPad cart with iPads, and an electrical outlet. To get started, we will need to download Apple Configurator from the App Store. If the App Store icon is in your dock, you can use that to launch the application. You may also use a spotlight or the magnifying glass in the top right corner to search for the App Store. Just type in App Store and click it from the list. Once in the App Store, use the search field in the top right corner to search for Apple Configurator. Choose it from the list and go ahead and click it. Download the application by clicking the gray button labeled Free. You may be prompted to put in your Apple ID and password to download this application. When the app is done installing, the button will turn from green to gray. We can now get out of the App Store and find Apple Configurator in our Applications folder. You may want to put Apple Configurator on the dock for easier access. Simply click and drag the icon onto your dock and then let go. To start using the cart, locate the power cord and plug it into a power outlet. On the back panel, you'll notice a small red toggle switch. Make sure the switch is on before you begin using the cart. The back panel also has indicator lights that let you know which iPads are plugged in. I will be using five iPads for this demonstration. In the back of the cart, you'll notice an AC outlet. You can use this to charge your laptop while managing the cart. The cart can hold and charge 30 iPads at a time. Each slot is labeled with a stenciled number above, 1 through 15 on the top shelf, 16 through 30 on the bottom. You may choose to label the slots more clearly if your students are getting confused when returning the iPads. At the top of the cart, you'll find a removable hatch that conceals the USB cable connecting your computer to all the iPads. You can also have your charging wire come out of this hatch as well. We will now begin setting up the master iPad. Choose any iPad to begin. On the side of the MacBook Pro are two USB slots. You only want to plug in this iPad to the computer. Rather than unplug the other iPads from the cart, I chose to use a different cable. Follow the on-screen prompts to set up the iPad. If prompted to select a wireless network or create an Apple ID, we can skip this. We will deal with these things when we use Apple Configurator. Back on the computer, go ahead and open up Apple Configurator. You will notice that there is a small number 1 next to the prepare icon. Toggle supervision on so the iPad cannot be synced to another computer. From here, we are going to make a profile to set the restrictions and other settings on these iPads. First, create a name for your profile. Multiple profiles can be created depending on the need of your school. Next, configure restriction settings to control what students can and cannot access. Restriction settings can be modified in case you change your mind. Be sure to check application and media content accessibility as well. The Wi-Fi option allows you to change which networks the iPads are allowed to connect to. Be sure to check the appropriate boxes and options from the drop-down menus. If your wireless network has security settings, be sure to choose the correct one and type in the password below. From here, you can click the Save button to exit Profile Management. If you have multiple networks, click the plus sign in the top right corner. Created profiles will appear in this lower box. Multiple profiles can be loaded onto a single iPad. More restrictive profiles will take precedent. Click Prepare and Apply to move on to the next step. While apps can be loaded in the Prepare stage, you will most likely be adding them after devices have been supervised. You can get apps in the App Store or through iTunes. I will use iTunes to get a dictionary app. Open the Applications folder and choose iTunes. By default, the new iTunes Store is missing the sidebar. To get this back, click View in the top menu and click Show Sidebar. From here, click the iTunes Store to open it. If you would like to browse the App Store, you can select that option from the top. If you would like to search for a specific app, you can just use the search field in the top right corner. The search field will try to predict what you're looking for. When you have what you need, you can click from the options below. The process is very similar to the App Store. When prompted, fill in your password and click Get to download your app. To be able to push apps onto the iPads with the Apple Configurator, we need to authorize the computer. In the menu above, click Store and Authorize Computer. Again, fill in your password. You will then get a pop-up letting you know how many computers are authorized with the account. 
you're able to authorize five computers per iTunes account. When you're done, you can close iTunes to return to Apple Configurator. Click the plus sign at the bottom to import apps to Configurator. Apps are downloaded into a mobile application folder in iTunes. To find this folder, click Music in the left sidebar, then click iTunes, iTunes Media, and Mobile Applications to find your apps. To select more than one app, use the Shift key, then press Open to import the apps. You will be prompted for a VPP password. For free apps, redemption codes aren't necessary. The prompt will accept the iTunes account used to purchase the app. Check the boxes next to the app that you want to push onto the iPads. To check all boxes, hold the Option key and single click. Return to settings and ensure everything is correct before refreshing the device. This will update changes made to the device in Configurator. If we check the device, we can see the apps are now on the iPad. From here, you can customize the look of the iPads. I chose to put the apps into a folder to remove some distractions. We are now ready to create a backup of this iPad. Go to the Restore drop-down menu and select Backup. Next, choose a name. Configurator can store multiple backups. When preparing the rest of the cart, this master iPad will be copied onto the other devices. Make sure the cart is powered and the iPads are plugged in. Use the USB cable from the cart to connect to the computer. When Configurator recognizes the iPads, a number will appear next to the Prepare icon. Once Configurator recognizes the devices, open the Restore drop-down menu and choose the Master Backup. In addition, we need to select the apps that will be pushed onto the devices. Click Prepare when ready and Apply when prompted. These devices will now have the same look and setting as the Master iPad. The process takes a bit longer than this video might suggest. The iPads will now move over to the Supervise icon. You can name the iPads individually or have them numbered sequentially. If you would like to start from a number other than 1, just type that number after the name and Configurator will understand. Click Refresh to rename the devices. Configurator names the devices randomly in the cart. The iPad in slot 2 is unlikely to have the correct number. It helps to have the number displayed on the lock screen for reorganizational purposes later. Go to Apple Configurator in the menu and click Preferences. Click Lock Screen and choose to have the device or username displayed. Close the menu to save. Click Refresh again to ensure that changes are applied. After that, you're done! It will take a minute or two to reorganize the iPads, but the name displays make them easier to identify. I hope this video helped, and good luck managing your iPad cart.